Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle aka Cinnamon Babe and today is a glow up at home. Um, usually a glow up like this would cost anywhere around $250 or higher as far as probably more than that because I just did my eyebrows. Um, I just shampoo and condition my hair and I'm about to blow dry it and crimp it and then later on I'm going to do my nails. So let's say $500 plus. Um, I've been taking Biotin, it's by Natural uh, Nature's Plus, and then I've also been taking um, Vitamin D3 because I am a little insufficient on that. So, Lasetta. Blow dry spray, it's supposed to be heat protect. Um, castor oil, extra dark, and this is just pure castor oil. And then also... Going back to the old days, I got the Blue Magic and I added all those oils that I just showed you to it. This is just some silicone my brother gave it to me. It smells really good and just helps with um, like a leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to apply all that and then I'm going to blow, blow dry my hair. This wide tooth brush. Wide tooth helps so that it won't um, pull too much of your hair out. It combs it evenly. You just start from the bottom and work your way up.
Alright, so it is, I would say about 98% dry. It's a little bit moist, but not so, so bad that it won't be able to flat iron, right? So I'm going to flat iron probably like the top half of it, like that, just so I can have it lay down correctly, and then crimp the bottom half so I can have volume. So it can be smooth on top and then like thick and um, full at the bottom. So this is a Conair uh, crimper, or Conair, however you say this has the two rungs um, for larger size crimps. I don't really like the small size. This is like medium to large size. Um, I cannot remember where I got it. It probably was like about $20 or less. It was very affordable. I either got it from Big Lots, Target, or Walmart. So it doesn't necessarily, you don't, crimpers are really easy to use. So you don't have to have the particular one I'm using. Um, and you don't have to get an expensive brand for it to work. You just have to use it correctly. It goes up to um, 30 in heat. And yeah, it's, you know, it's a really good crimper. It's not very expensive. Um, if you like this size, uh, just look up the Conair um, hair crimper and see if you can find it online. And then this is my flat iron. It goes up to 455. And this is by Revlon, and I think I got it from Target. Well, it was a gift. Whoever got it for my grammy, my grandmother got it for me. Um, wherever she got it, it may have been Target. But this is also like I think less than thirty-five dollars, and it flat irons really, really good. It's not titanium, as you can see, but it gets up to four fifty-five, and it does amazing. So, so no big deal. So I'm gonna take about a chunk this size. Make sure it's combed out. And start with the crimping. Oh, just burnt myself. I'm gonna sit it there until it feels right. I don't really count how long I sit it here. Not for too long because you don't want to burn your hair, but sit it there for a couple of seconds. I don't know, 15 seconds. Time me. And then move down. See? Crimps really well. It doesn't have to get, crimpers don't have to get as hot as flat irons. And I don't think you would want it to because um, leaving it on your hair, because you don't leave a flat iron on one part of your hair like this. You just pull it down. But with a crimper, you're sitting it on there for a little longer, so you wouldn't want it to get too hot because you could burn your hair like that. So, yeah, it doesn't have to get as hot as a flat iron, and nor should it. Um, so you don't have to get nothing too expensive. You can just get a cheap crimper, make sure you're using heat protectant, and just do it. I'm really happy with the result. It feels really soft, it doesn't feel crunchy. It feels nice, and I feel like this is a good alternative if you don't want to flat iron your hair and put too much heat on it. Like I said, the crimper doesn't get as hot. So if you're trying to grow your hair out, this is a good idea. Like if you just want to like style it, just make sure you blow dry it really good. Because it won't work well if your hair is still like, like say if you have like really tight coils and you don't blow those coils out very well, um, it's going to be harder for the crimps to look nice. It'll be really stiff. So you want to make sure that you're, you blow, it, blow dry it really well. Um, yeah, it's minimal heat and I think it turns out really cute don't have to be so exact because that's half the battle. Just go through it once like that. Starting from the root all the way down like that. And see, see how good the flat iron is? Revlon, that is a good flat iron. I just went through it once and it looks amazing. Like that's good enough to wear out. I always love this one, Aaron. Okay, same thing. Just one stroke. Those are, you know, minimal heat. We don't want to, like, go through it a bunch of times and then put the crimp on it because we don't want to damage the hair. Look at that. A little bit of a yeah right there but not bad at all like I said my hair is still a little tiny bit wet it 
and I'm doing it fast as you can see like I'm not even doing it slow to get it as straight as possible but look how straight it gets just from running through it once and we're just going to crimp like that not too close to the scalp or face because you will burn yourself leave it on there for a couple seconds and then just pass it down and see how lovely that looks So I'll look at the bottom. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Spin, spin, <laughs> crimp and spin. Oh yeah.
Take a picture. Get the nails. Hi, BB. Hey, you got the new advertising the nails? I got the dog call right there. <laughs> My BB is dirty. Hey, dirty BB. Stop, that's it. My dummy. Yeah. <laughs> that yet? We're on a field trip at this camping site for his, for his school. Good afternoon. All right. No. Are you guys? You getting on, Robert? Oh. oh, they're so cute. Finger, one finger, Robert, one finger. Robert, get one finger. And pat him. Yeah, yeah, nah. No. Oh, take Just like a baby. On your knee? Oh, my goodness. Yes, Robert's mommy. Wait, wait, no. stay over here because they're tight. Is I need you to walk around real slow so the kids can play. Wait, wait. Okay. Where's Robert at? Oh my goodness. Robert, come here. Robert. Is that your mom? Robert. Look what she's got. Robert. Take your spot. Alright, move to the other side. Come on, Ava, come here with me. Ready? Hey, yeah! Come here, nice and flat. Take them. 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 Take Yep, that's a food thing. Hey, right here. Hold on. Hold that gate right there. I'm gonna try to get it over. Okay, who's gonna? Robert, stop. No, Robert, no, don't climbing. no climbing. Don't climb. Okay, somebody yep. else. Like and you can, you can you can share. Right here, look. Here, let me slide by. Let me slide by. This one right here. You see this fence? He's. Oh, I get the picture. No, put that down. Put it down. <laughs> it's so cute. Good morning. It is Saturday. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. But today I'm about to put my hair in a high ponytail and like wrap a track around it. It took me like long. I'm, I don't usually wear my hair like this, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. I usually like, when I do wear a high up do, it's like a ninja bun. Oh yeah, and by the way, I oiled the living daylights out of my hair because I still have like hair glue left in my hair from when I wore tracks when I was in Miami. So I put a bunch of oil in it so when I get ready to wash it, it will come out easier. So that's what explains why I'm, why I'm doing a high up do today, kind of cover up my messed up hair. Here's the tracks. I might add some of that cute blonde in there. Okay. I 
like I said, bear with me. I've done someone else's hair like my sister in law. I've done her hair like this before. But never mind. I think I already messed up. <laughs> Just started and I already messed up. Give me just a second. It's easier doing it upside down. I just hope this doesn't hurt. Like, ugh. I heard this hurts. So I'm gonna just continue to wrap this around. Take three. Yeah, I'll just wear it down today. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so we are about to eat at this new burger place that I haven't tried yet. Um, I'm starting. Oh, yes, yes. There it goes right here. It's a burger tavern. Check out, yep. Yeah, it's gonna have a bunch of colors on it. <laughs> like, I don't even want to cheat what he did. Look at the blue. Hey. Hey. Look at the blue. Same with the hog. Oh, don't 
I mean, that's expect. Oh, he won! He won! He won! He won! He won! It will. No, 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 no. Okay. It sure did. Let me see if it's it. Yay! Yeah, it's not like you just turn it off. Bella. Yes. Mm -hmm. They Dollar twenty nine. Okay, so we're back home. I don't even know what time it is, probably like ten o'clock. Um, we stopped and gave everybody their flowers for Mother's Day. My grandparent, my grandma's, my uh, husband's grandmother, and then my mom. Um, sorry, the shirt is ripped. <laughs> I wear it like to bed and stuff. But um, yeah, I gave everybody their flowers, and then I had also given them like little shell jewelry boxes that I got from Miami. And so I wanted to show my little Mother's Day gift that I got. My um, youngest son, he made this in his class. And then my oldest son, he made me a card. It says dad and mommy. And it says I love you mommy on the inside. My baby is so sweet. My youngest, they had to make this. Mom, I love you. Mom, I love you for all that you do. I'll hug you and kiss you because you love me too. You feed me and need me to teach you to play. So smile because I love you on this Mother's Day. So sweet. And then, look at that. That's so sweet. And then my mom, well then my oldest, he picked these flowers for me. Beautiful flowers. And then my mom got me these beautiful roses. I don't have a pretty base to put them in. This is a makeup um, brush container or whatever. So I just put them in there. But beautiful roses. Oh, you're gorgeous. They smell so good. And then this is the card that my sweet mom got me. It says, Daughter, you have been a gift to our hearts, a joy to our lives, and a sweet reason to thank God. So, so now that all the mushy stuff is out the way, this is what I got from um, Forever 21. It was on sale for $4. It said $9, but then when I went to go check out, it was only $4. It's a, it's, I think it's from Valentine's Day. Just a little lingerie piece. Mesh see-through. Little hearts on it. So cute. Only $4. And you know, lingerie is never cheap. Especially from places like that. But, um... Their stuff isn't expensive. But, you know, usually you can't buy stuff for $4. And then I got this swimsuit cover dress. This was $9 at Charlotte Rouge, or $8 at Charlotte Rouge. And so, like, you can wear it either with your swimsuit, or you can wear it, like, with shorts underneath and a top. So, yeah, I'm excited for this summer. Um, it's Mother Happy Mother's Day. Going to church. We came 25 minutes late, so it won't be super long. <laughs> oh, look at her. Why the woke? Hi, baby. I missed you. Yeah, she'll do you right. Mad at me? Don't you get mad? Uh, Don't get mad at me.
Okay, so I'm just running some errands. I'm just out. Got to wash my car. Um, it's a couple minutes. Well, not a couple, but like almost an hour before it's time to get to the other child of mine. I got this one with me. He's actually being good. So, <laughs> yep. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, he likes going through the car wash. Okay, we're at this restaurant called Tap House, and it's our damn, it's our it's first so time fun. going. So hopefully it's good. I'm literally starving. Street, what's that? What's that it's a say? bank. Oh. It's a bank. Wouldn't that be cool if that was a restaurant? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, the food was so so good. I got um. A um, cheesesteak sandwich and a gumbo, like a bowl of gumbo, like a little bowl of gumbo. And the gumbo was the best gumbo I've had at a restaurant in so long. Because a lot of times gumbos don't be tasting that good at restaurants. Like, And this was like delicious. Like, It tasted homemade. Oh my god, I definitely will be back. I'm so full. And he said he got... Um, Cheddar Bay Biscuits and Gravy. Best thing I've ever had. Yep. I'm full and happy now. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, he had a Long Island iced tea. He shouldn't have because now he's out. Oh, whatever. Oh, I put it in his nose on accident. I'm so sorry. So it's Sunday. We're on our way to church. Uh, let's just talk about America for a minute. Uh, it's an election year. The, there's all kinds of craziness uh, that's been going on up until this point. And I just was asking God, like, so what is the church supposed to do? I mean, it, it's so crazy that, you know, there's, a, there's a, a group of people that actually think that men can get pregnant out there. Have you guys heard that? Men, now, I don't, you know that men can't get pregnant. You know that men can look pregnant. Come on, somebody. But, but they, <laughs> right. Hello, Lab. Hello, hello, Theo. Ooh, these kids have been pissing me off today. Why? First time seeing peonies, and I've never seen peonies before. My favorite get, flower. I would get it for you if you really Smell it. It smells it. really good. Okay, so it's Monday morning, and my son, oldest son, has a field trip at the movies. We're going to go see Is, and I said I was going to chaperone for some odd reason, and so that's what I'm going to do. You really don't have to do this. Okay, where's your teacher at? You gotta be by your 
for you. Oh my god. <laughs> He just wants to play tug of war. He don't want to um play fetch. <laughs> New one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put some of that in there. So it is Saturday. It is the Saturday before Memorial Day and we're on our way to the beach. I just baked a cake and put it in a Charlotte Rouge bag. And we're going to have a good day today. Hopefully eat some good food. Nothing generic. We'll see. Robert, you're going out too far. So is Delilah. Delilah, get over here. Her mom doing her mom dance. Tony doing a dad dance. And Sheila doing a Aunt Sheila dance. Let's do it. She just aged. Because mom loves doing her mom dance. You gonna enjoy in the water, baby? <laughs> Look what your cousin did to you. Why you do that to your little cousin? He's like, I'm out of here. The red bell cake is so good. Oh my gosh. I gotta hold this while I eat it. It's so moist. Okay, y'all should be warmed up by now. Calm down. Okay, so we're at Big B. Right here. About to get some drinks. And that is it. It was hot and I didn't swim at all because the wind was blowing too hard and I don't like that. I'd rather swim on the inside. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok, uh, CinnamonBabe94 and Instagram. I am CinnamonBabe. Bye. Have a good Memorial Day.